You may have noticed that ICS offers three products as part of its Wistline web service, WebEx, Wistline Anytime Web, and Blackboard Collaborate. Let's take a couple minutes and describe the similarities and differences between those products. First, the similarities. Similarity number one, you can present from any desktop, whether it be a Mac or a PC. You can also join into any web conference using virtually every mobile platform, although presenting from some of them does get a little problematic. Each of the programs might require you to install something before you join the meeting, so that's something to keep in mind. Number two, you can share any PowerPoint, program, document, or website in any of the platforms. Number three, you can send files directly to attendees through the web conferencing platform. This could be an alternative to sending an email with an attachment. Number four, you can annotate on the slides on any of the platforms. This feature can be hidden to attendees, but all moderators will have the option to annotate. Number five, all of the platforms allow for telephone connections for your audio during the meeting. Number six, all of the platforms allow for a text-based chat. You can send a message to everyone that's in your meeting, or you can direct it to specific people. Finally, all of the platforms allow for multiple presenters. WebEx doesn't allow multiple presenters at the same time, but it does allow you to promote and demote people to presenters at any time during the meeting. And now the differences. Number one, the ability to conduct polls or surveys. Polls and surveys are a great way to get feedback from your audience during your meeting or presentation. It's also a way to create engagement. WebEx and Blackboard Collaborate both incorporate polls and surveys in slightly different ways. Wistline Anytime Web does not incorporate any way for you to do a poll in the meeting. Number two, if you only want to use a computer and a headset to communicate during your meeting, this is only possible with Blackboard Collaborate. WebEx and Wistline Anytime Web in this form do not incorporate voice over IP audio. Number three, even though Blackboard Collaborate does allow you to use voice over IP, it does not connect your phone audio to the meeting. WebEx and Wistline Anytime Web do a great job of allowing you to call directly from the meeting to your phone so it's connected all together. Number four, if you would like to use webcam video in your meeting, the only way that this is possible is with Blackboard Collaborate. WebEx and Wistline Anytime Web currently don't support webcam video. The last difference is in how these meetings are set up. To set up a Blackboard Collaborate, you need to contact one of our Wistline Services agents. If you would like to set up a WebEx or Wistline Anytime Web account, you can still do that through our Wistline agents, but you can also do that on your own through the Wistline Anytime Dashboard. Just log on to your Wistline Anytime Dashboard, and in your meeting, you will see a little Thunderbolt. If you click on that, you will join directly into your meeting whether it be a Wistline Anytime web conference or a WebEx conference. You can also join into a WebEx or Wistline Anytime web conference using the links that were included in the email when you set up your Wistline Anytime account. If you would like to set up a web conference without calling anybody to reserve a specific time, WebEx and Wistline Anytime web through the Wistline Anytime dashboard is the way to go. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions about Wistline Web, please contact our Wistline Services team.